Should I get a hot dog in here? If you want. Why are you asking me? Are you are are, you, are we gonna get some lunch at a place or? It, whatever you want, man. I'm telling you, it's up to you. This is, you know. Do you just want to grab a bite here? Or? You can get whatever the fuck you want. You really want to just get food at a fucking gas station while we're no, in the really. city? Not I mean, really. come on. Not really. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Caleb here, and uh, I'm with Leroy, and finally getting out of the house, and we're going to go do something for a change of pace. Um, we're going to go Cactus to Jacks! Oklahoma City and go to Cactus Jacks, finally. Um, for those of you who don't know what Cactus Jacks is, it's like the pinball mecca it's like of the greatest, Oklahoma. <laughs> it's like, not only is it the greatest arcade in Oklahoma, it might be the greatest arcade in like the surrounding seven states. It's, uh, it's yeah. really good. Like I think north of Boston is his claim. This motherfucker, is he going slow or am I just... I, don't know. I, I can't. So anyway, yeah, I've been wanting to do a, a video or, or multiple videos of, at a certain point of taking the camera on the road or taking a camera on the road or whatever. Uh, for a while now, so you guys can watch me get pissed off at drivers or shit and scream at the road. Because <laughs> that's what I do. It's mostly all pinball. Uh, you see, yeah, well, that's unfair. He's... Well, it's mostly all... Well, <clears throat> it's half and half, right? Like, half of it is pinball, but the pinball is the stuff that is clearly the owner's passion. Yeah, that's um, that's definitely the highlight. He's yeah. got some good classic arcade games and a few drivers. Some of the, the, a lot, a lot of, some of the arcade games aren't up kept as well though you know yeah thing. But, uh, <laughs> at one point i know he had didn't he have like all the house of the deads i think so this place is one of our favorite places to go it is like if you like pinball like us it's like one of the best places because there's just such a huge selection and it gets rotated out a lot of uh, a handful of the tables get rotated out on a regular basis yeah and he has really good stuff <laughs> basically anything with a dot matrix and he's kind of got that, yeah. I like the classics room, where he throws like some uh, 70s and 80s games. Yeah, those are really cool. They have Dragon, one of the best games uh, ever, yeah. for reasons. Yeah, one of the place has a dragon and like... Not only a dragon, but a dragon that looks fucking brand new. Total it nuclear looks, annihilation. It looks uh, like it's never been wow, touched. Sorry, you know, Billy. I have heard... Uh, fucking... They're like no, better know, condition than they would be when they were new. Yeah, his, <laughs> like, it's crazy. None of his stuff looks fucking rough at all. It's a video of him driving for like three hours, and it was the most relaxing fucking thing. Something about like being on the road is something nice. That's another thing. We have to drive like, what is it, an hour and a half to get there? Oh, roughly. Yeah, so not too far for, you know, anybody living in Oklahoma. That's nothing. That's <laughs> not a drive at yeah. all. That's one of my top fears. One of your top fears. That's where the peanuts go. Go to the island. Then you eat them up. Oh, just, yeah. yeah. Just loop around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Did you hear that? What yeah, was that? That was him getting traction. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I am the Black Knight.
playing. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I uh, you you know, you're good. I, I... Of course, Dragon had to be the first game. Come on! Dang. Scratch my face like an idiot. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, no. This is such a beautiful table. Yeah. I love all the lighting and everything. It's so gorgeous. Well done it. For those of you who don't know, Dragon. Uh, there you go. That's the, that's the game where you gotta knock down the five heads of the dragon, and that noise you're hearing is the very realistic, oh! terrifying uh, well, roar, like roar of the it's dragon. It's pretty interesting because it's an electromechanical machine, so those don't typically have sound effects. Right. This is a Spanish interplay machine. So one of the things that's interesting about inter or Interflip, sorry, yeah, uh, Interflip was a Spanish company. Like I said, you can see Madrid, Spain. But uh, Spain had certain things. Uh, I don't know if it's a holdover of the Francisco Franco era, but they had to destroy machines after they were out of commission. So really, Spanish pinball machines. Spain was one of the few countries. Spain and Italy. So that's why this and, and is Germany like, to a small extent. I know produced this, pinball I, machines I, and. I, that's why Spanish machines are kind of not easy to find. I was say, I know Dragon in particular is kind of a rare game. Yeah. On top of the fact that it's just, like, it's in phenomenal shape. Oh, this thing yeah, is, is this beautiful. thing is absolutely It's a beautiful gorgeous. example. Yeah. So this is usually, this is usually the classic room. Um, the, the little area that we're in right now is usually where they keep uh, the classic stuff. But I think every once in a while they'll put a new one in here. I, I, I don't know for sure if this is all just classics, but at one point I, I think it was. They uh, regularly, I believe they regularly, they still have pop-up tournaments around here. I think. I think there's like some, or not, maybe not pop-up tournaments, but it's like some pinball like tournaments come through here, circuits and everything. And I don't know if they got this themselves or bought it this way, but it's kind of interesting because it has a uh, down here. It has a uh, signature right there. Yeah, Greg Ferris. So this is the. Uh, this is the artist who did all the uh, artwork for this, so very cool. One of my uh, personal favorites, a beautiful uh, example of the machine. And it has the color dot matrix uh, right in the back right there that they add on, like little... Uh, and I prefer these, so it's got like the actual dot matrix. See, it's got the colored ones. Some of them don't have like the actual dot matrices. Like with the dots, it'll be more like a bled through, like different style artwork, which I'm sure they have one around here. I definitely prefer when it actually has like the dots. When it's colored and has the actual dot matrix, it's beautiful. The other way that looks like bled, uh, uh, bled letters looks awful in my opinion, but uh, I'll find one of those here in a second and kind of show you what it looks like. These are those color dot matrix uh, mods or whatever that I was talking about before. Uh, they're fuck ugly. I hate them, but anyway, this is what they look like. They're all bled through and shit. It looks, they, I hate these things. Personally, I can't stand the look of them. Because they're, they're not on an actual dot matrix, on an LED screen. So, that, uh, how the fuck can you not mind this? We got a multicade, a couple multicades. I guess they're, uh, these are uh, off too right now. These are normally going. Maybe they're getting maintenance or something. Uh, we got a Neo Geo. Neo Geo uh, MVS4, which is the one I had. I still have the PCB, but I had this one. Uh, Puzzle Bobble, looks like, yeah, looks like Puzzle Bobble, Samurai Showdown 3. Metal Slug and World of Heroes 2, nice. Yep, love these things. Robotron, one of Leroy's favorites. Frogger, which is, I believe, those are the original cabinets for these. These are really nice. Leroy has one of these, actually. Uh, he doesn't use it, though, so. But, yeah, here's one of, here's Joust, one of my favorites. I have to play this every time I come in, so. I'll be hitting that before I leave. Usually, right before I leave, this will be the last thing I play, is a good game of a Joust. So. I wonder what the uh, ex I wonder what the uh, high scores are right now. Donkey Kong. These games had so much like uh, I love the 
when you see when you actually get to experience you know arcade cabinets like original ones and all that they're just so cool the idea that this looks like the the screen just sinks into this blackness you know and you can get like absorbed in the game it really is dark in here which is really cool same thing over here those are great looking but uh yeah so this is all the the classic section of course like i said it loops around so you get your centipede and uh two-player tetris I don't know if every Tetris is two player, but anyway, there's the Tetris uh, cabinet, asteroids, really cool. So of course, you know, what arcade now wouldn't be complete without like some redemption games and uh, little gimmick games, things like that. Uh, these are pretty neat. I like <laughs> these like rock and bowl. These are pretty neat. But they have all these. This is a classic. When I was a kid, this was my favorite. When I was really little, I mean like really tiny. This was uh, my favorite game to play. Uh, I think last time I went, I tried playing it. I think it was messed up, but uh, it's actually got, you know, these alligators are actually, you know, plastic toys that would come out. And uh, they're supposed to be, there's actually supposed to be like a mallet attached to it, like one or two mallets attached to it. I think it's one. And um, I guess they don't have it, so you just have to hit it with your hand. So yeah, some of, uh, and then you got some more of these types of games. You should get in there like a mech game. This looks pretty cool. Never played this, but. And there's two of them. I'm wondering if you can fight each other or something. I wonder if that's how this works. Maybe it's two player versus mode. I'm trying to see gameplay here. And uh, I don't know, made by Kitty Zink. I don't know what the hell. Anyway, I don't see gameplay, but whatever. And they have an initial D volume two this isn't we played initially three is the one that we played um all the time but this is uh but this is it so like this was the one that well not this one but this is the the racing game we would play where you would um pay extra money see let's see if you can see look card system earn points to tune up your car yep and you can like basically uh you would you would put pay extra money. I don't know if this one does it or not. It might just been three and up, but you would pay extra money and make your account, make your name, and the machine would print you out a driver's license so that uh, next time you play, you would put your driver's license in and it would load all your stats and it would load, uh, load your uh, car and everything. It was super cool, really cool stuff. What do you think of that shit? Uh, maximum force. They definitely have some of the shooters. I'm kind of like just getting some of the little stuff, first of all, but. All the ski bowl and we got of course driving games out the ass some nascar shit house of the dead four this game is sick this game is actually sick look at all this i usually try to play a game of house of the dead too whenever i'm whenever i come up here at least once ghost god all your rail shooters they have a time crisis here. I'm about to that. Uh, time crisis four is what they have. But check this out. House of the Dead one. It's a great game. Classic football. I don't really know what this is. This is pretty cool. I think this is like a. Oh, this is like a four-player football game. Oh wow, this is kind of neat. Yeah, I have never played this, but it's like a cocktail. I wonder if you can see I wish they show some gameplay on some of these attraction modes got foosball and they got air hockey house of the dead 2 I think he has he might not have all of them but look at that what a classic aliens great game I wish you get a revolution X you guys ever play that uh, Aerosmith rail shooter game. Here's a really sick looking Time Crisis 4. Look at these. The lights on here, man, are so cool. Look at that. So sick. Out of service for repairs, though, it says. Looks like it's going to me. Uh, D &D, uh, DDR. What's it? D&D. &D. You got a DDR? What the hell is this shit? Route 66. What the fuck? Like a truck driving simulator? It is. Huh, I'll be damned. Well, it's out of order, so whatever the fuck it is. 
Guitar Hero. See, this is the thing is like the, the arcade games aren't as like, you know, they're, they're, they're taken care of to some extent, but they're not really like, um, I don't think they're really the, uh, the priority. You know, the pinball is the priority. And this is just kind of here for, I guess, kids or whoever, or normies. <laughs> but um, this is a fucking great game. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah. Anyway, this is Cactus Jacks. It's a really good time. If you guys, I don't know, if you haven't lived around this area or something, you haven't checked it out, or if you like pinball, or you want to see a really cool place and play a lot of pinball, because this, this place is huge. They have a ton of pinball. And uh, if you want to uh, check it out, I mean, it's, or if you can check it out, it's definitely worth coming by and, and, and seeing and playing some games and stuff. So a lot of stuff to do here, and it just, it's huge for an arcade, especially for a modern arcade. This is absolutely just a monster-sized arcade. Look at all this. Tons of cool stuff. Also, it's worth mentioning, they also have, uh, they have some, like, cameras in there for recording. Uh, I get, uh, I think they live stream at some point, maybe, or uh, maybe make videos for YouTube or something, but these are cameras. The whole thing is a camera set up for pinball tables to get, you know, all these different angles in order to uh, record them. Usually when you come in here, they're whatever like new table or whatever popular or anything that I think is being like in the tournament at that given time, they will have the cameras set up and be recording footage. Um, they'll be recording footage or, or live streaming your gameplay as you're playing, I guess. I guess it's a live stream, I don't know. What you doing? I'm just soaking it all in. <laughs> Losing? Yes. Uh, actually, I've gotten two replays. Uh, one on Ghostbusters and one on Tron. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't even get into... Uh, uh, I can't even remember the game mode. Uh, Wizard? Stop. Something you're caught. Move your car. Oh, on, uh, oh no. <laughs> dialed in or whatever. Or no. Uh, oh, the creature. Creature, yeah. You gonna play Iron Man? Yeah, man. This is a game I hear a lot about and I just don't see it around. It's supposed to be more defense. All right, we just got out of uh, Cactus Jacks and uh, played quite a bit and lost uh, quite a bit of money, probably. We're not that great at pinball. We have a couple good games usually to be uh, early on and then we just start losing constantly so but uh we're done there and uh gonna start heading home it's a really cool place and it's got a big selection and it's worth checking out if if you're around this area or uh you know ever get a chance to or ever, if you're ever coming uh, through oklahoma city for whatever reason it's it's worth stopping by and checking out it's really cool <sighs> just waiting for leroy he's had a lot of uh, cheap beers so he's pissing every five minutes which i knew was going to happen um Last time we came here, he did the same thing, and um, there was no place to stop on the way home, and we ended up having to pull over to the side. I knew he was going to do this. Why do I look so fucking pretty on this camera? Like, my skin looks like like not shit for once. Maybe it's the lighting or something, but I don't know. It's kind of fucking weird. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's uh, waiting on him to pee. He's got a tinkle. And, um, and the fucking stupid camera, I guess, still isn't working. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. Maybe it died or something like that. But we got a lot of good footage. And, uh, yeah. Oh, here he comes. Here comes this dumbass right now. Oh, here he comes. I'm fucking, ugh, I'm so drunk. I just had a load of pee. You, oh. What? What did I do? I thought you swapped our phones, because. No. Yours has the same, uh. Same what? It has the same nothing. Uh, <laughs> what are you? The, the sticker oh, the you thought bottom. I, like, why would yeah. I stick your fucking... I, I have no idea. There you go. Have fun? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to get on the road. I had, I'd been talking to this camera for a while, oh. talking to him. <laughs> I, just, I was just letting him know how good you did. 